Hello, this is a video for our String Basics Book 3 students and we're on our fourth bead in this video. The exercise is exercise 27, Danny Boy, and this is for our red bead. Now, as I've said in some past videos, number one, when we're learning a new piece of music, we want to get our fingers in the right place. We call that our tuning. Another name for tuning is our intonation. We want to get the sound right. So that's our first thing to concentrate on with Danny Boy. We might do that for a week, just get the notes right. Then the next step, when we've got all the notes right and we feel confident we're putting our fingers in the right place, the next step is to get the rhythm right. So to think about whether we've got um, tickers or tumties or syncopas, whatever the rhythm is, and feeling our pulse, and I feel the pulse or the beat in my big toe. So that's our second focus. We might work on the rhythm for another week. Then the third focus is adding in the stylistic quality. So we know our notes, we know the rhythm. Now we can think about slurs and dynamics and how we're using the bow, whether we're in the upper half of the bow, the middle of the bow, making sure we don't run out of bow, things like that. So we always concentrate on a different area when we're practicing. Work on one thing at a time. When you've got that bit right, then you can work on the next focus. So the first time I play through Danny Boy with you, I'm just going to concentrate on getting my fingers in here. We have F sharp and we have C sharp. Let's give it a play. So we come in on the third beat on the three and. One and two and three and four and. So here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> all about getting the notes correct. We had that high third finger on the G string to play C sharp. So after working on that for quite a period of time, just getting the notes and the tuning right, the next thing to turn our attention to is the rhythm. When I'm playing this piece, I don't think about it in terms of crotchets, I think about it in terms of quavers because there's a lot of quavers in this piece. So I'm thinking quaver, 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 and then I've got a crotchet with a jot, which is a tum rhythm. Now there are three quavers in that rhythm. So if you think about a crotchet, a crotchet is two quavers, and the dot is another quaver. So I'm actually going to count to three in that tum T. Or another way of thinking about it is saying the word subdivide. So it's got three parts, one, two, three, or subdivide. So when we play our tum rhythm, I want you to either count one, two, three, or say the word subdivide. When we come to the twos, or the minims, that's actually four quavers. Two quavers per crotchet. So if we have a minim, that's four quavers. So when you get to the minim, at the end of the first line, you can either say one, two, three, four, or you could come up with a word that has four parts to it. Minum, minum, <laughs> something like that. So my mind is thinking about this piece in terms of a quaver being one count. Let's see if that works for you. One, two, three. <laughs>
So I just find using um, a quaver as my one, that makes it easier for me to count those long notes. So that is Danny Boy.